Hello there, beautiful people. What's up? It's your girl, Sherry Ann. I'm here. I'm back with another quick word. For those of you who are tuning into this channel for the very, very first time, I want to welcome you to the channel. And I also want to welcome you to be a part of this family. So guys, I have a word. I have a quick word. And this is not a beautiful one. This is not a beautiful one. The Lord knows. He knows that I hate bringing these words. I prefer to bring a word of encouragement, but he would so often bring a word or give me a word of judgment. And so this is one of these words. God wants us to take his word serious. He wants us to take his word serious. Guys, on the 2nd of March, on the 2nd of March, I heard the spirit of the Lord said, I, the Lord has extended my grace. I, the Lord, has extended my grace. And then I heard there's a warning from heaven. There's a warning from heaven. On the 2nd of March, I received this word, but I did not bring the word. I was sitting with the Lord asking him, what more does he want me to share with his people? And so early this morning, guys, I knew it was time to bring the word because he led me back to the word. He spoke to me, he spoke to my spirit, and he led me back to the word. And so I knew for sure that today was the day that he wanted me to bring this word. He also gave me a dream. And I'll share the dream with you in a few. But I want to say also, as I was preparing for the word, I heard God's judgment is here. God's judgment is here. God has sent me to tell many of you that he is not playing in this set time. He is not joking around. Many of you have taken his grace for granted. And I will repeat this. Many of you have taken God's grace for granted. Many of you. And God is saying, now in this time, he is not playing around. I can feel the presence of the Lord. The angels are here. God is saying, his judgment is here. And he wants you to take his word very serious. He wants you to take this word very serious. Hallelujah. I remember only last year, I have a friend and she was explaining to me that her son, he's about 11 years old. He was woken up by the sound of a trumpet. He was woken up by the sound of the trumpet. I have another friend. She's beginning to hear her daughter. She's only what, seven, nine years old. She's nine years old and she's already hearing the voice of God. She's hearing God call her name. And this is the time saints of God, that God is using even the little children, the little children. And so we can see that we are in the time of prophecy. We are in the time that God is saying it is time. His trumpets are being sound and it is time to take him very serious, very serious. There are many of you that are into witchcraft, you're into sorcery, you're into um, tarot card reading, you're into angel numbers and all these different things. And God is saying that his judgment is here. He's saying to repent. Those of you who need to repent, it is time. It is the hour to repent. God wants you to repent. Guys, only early this year, last year, I have dealt with a few um, persons that have come to me for deliverance. And most of the cases were people that were into tarot card reading um, and all sorts of, 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 of divination. God is saying to turn away from that. The enemy will devour some of you. And this is what he's doing. He pulls you in, he draws you in, and then he spits you out. Do not be attracted to these things. God is saying to let them go. Let them go and repent. 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 I have been in deliverance sessions with these women of God and they have multiple, and I tell you hundreds and thousands of demons, demons just holding on and don't want to let go. And so God is calling us to repent. Some of you, God have given you assignments. 
God is calling you into ministry. God is saying to get in position. Some of you are being prepared. You have dealt with some tra childhood traumas. You have dealt with some things that have your heart hardened, jealousy, envy, a lot of different things you're dealing with. And God wants to clean you up because he wants to use you. There's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. God is calling even the little children at this time. He's saying to us today, saints of God, to get in position, to get in alignment. I can feel his presence. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Only on the seventh, the seventh, I heard, it is God who give sicknesses and takes. It is God who give sicknesses and take. God is not playing around saints of God he is going to do whatever he has to do to humble you to bring you to your knees many of you are in sin repent because the Lord's judgment is here and he's saying that, that he have extended his grace from many of you and so this is a warning from heaven God is saying to get in alignment get in position glory be to God Glory be to God. He is not playing. This is not the, t the time or the hour to play around because he's sounding his alarm. He's sounding his trumpets. Hallelujah. He took me to Joel 2, 1, and it says, Blow a trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the Lord tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. Surely it is near. God is saying that the time is is near the time is approaching and it is near it is very near saints of god and so god is calling many of his children he's calling you many of you are into things but god have chosen you and he wants you to let go of those things you know what it is yes i'm speaking to you you know exactly what god is saying to let go he's saying to let it go come to him and come out of that darkness into light you have been chosen for such a, a time as this and god wants to use you it doesn't matter what you have done god says to repent and come because he wants to use you in this set time glory be to god so guys i had a dream only this morning early this morning i the lord gave me this dream and i know it is the day of um the eclipse solar eclipse um, and so I don't know if this is the reason why God gave me this dream, but guys, I had a dream and I'm seeing the moon travel. I'm seeing the moon travel. My perspective from this dream, it was like God hand, God's hand was moving the moon. All of a sudden, the sky, all of a sudden, the clouds turn black dark i saw the transition many people were on the outside viewing this thing and they were murmuring they were in a wow moment like what is this what on earth is this that is happening what is transpiring here everyone was in that place and as i looked up i'm seeing everything begin to turn black all of a sudden i'm hearing in the background a woman and she's saying that we are not going to have time enough. People are thinking that this thing will transpire on this day, but really and truly it's going to transpire on another day. This thing is going to happen when we least expect. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I don't have lanterns. I don't have candles. I don't have any light in my house. Um, enough light the light that I need to pass these three days and I'm thinking I need to run to the supermarket to get some items food items because I'm not going to be able to cook I need um, goods that I can just have to eat because I am um, I'm not going to be able to prepare a meal in the dark and so I'm thinking I'm not going to have time and it was turning dark so rapidly that I'm thinking I don't even have time to go to the, to run to this grocery store at this time. I don't even have time to run to the grocery store at this time. And so guys, 
saints of God, this one is for many of us. God is saying to get in alignment, be prepared. This is a prophetic warning from heaven. And God is saying, get in alignment because he's sounding his trumpets. He's sounding his alarm. He wants us to be ready and prepared. He wants us to be ready and prepared. Many of us, he wants us to be ready and prepared. So saints of God, that is the word. That is the word. That is the word of the Lord. That is the word from the Lord. Many of you are taking God's grace for granted. And he's saying there is a warning from heaven. Glory be to God. So guys, please share this word. Someone may need to hear this. Please share this word. Um, for those of you who have loved ones, they're not saved. Please pray for them. War for them. Because this is judgment time. Maybe they are in darkness, total darkness. God wants them to come into light. He says in his word, it is not his will for none to perish, but for all to have everlasting life. And so we have the authority as children of God to pray for them, to war on their behalf. Because this is the time to be ready. This is the time to be ready. So let's pray for our loved ones. Let's pray and let's repent. Let's be in a posture of repentance and get in position. Those of you who have been prepared for ministry, get on the assignment. God have called you. You know, you know, you know, you know. You have no doubt. Get in alignment and get in position because this is the hour and God is not playing around. In Jesus name, please share this video. Thank you guys for those of you who have sown so generously into this ministry. I appreciate your gifts. Thank you. Be blessed, saints of God. Stay tuned and until my next one. Bye.